Hi. I am going to introduce you tonight to something called HTTrack. It's an offline browser utility. It's a free software with a general public license and it's very easy to use. Now this is one of the websites that I'm going to capture. It's called Inchai Private Investigations and this is kind of what it looks like. And if I go to contact us, it goes to a, another page. Okay. Goes to services. We've got several different services it can go to. And basically that is what the website looks like. Okay. Now this is HT track. This is what it looks like when you bring it up. This allows you to download a worldwide website from the internet to a local directory. You get all the HTML pages, images, and other files from the server to your computer. You simply open a page of the Merit website in your browser and you can browse the site from link to link as if you were viewing it online. HT HTTrack can also update an existing Merid site. HTTrack is fully configurable and has an integrated help system. For each of the issues discussed here and many more, HTTrack has options to allow you to make different choices and get different results. This one is one of the great things about HT track and one of the real major problems with using it without the knowledge of all that it can do. But I have found that the defaults do a great job. Okay, so I brought up HT track and it's real easy to install. You just go to the HT track website, it's httrack.com, download it, and run it. Now I'm going to include all the information on the Web Spinners website so that you can have all the information about how to download it and how to use it. Okay, the first thing you do is just click Next. You'll notice here on the left you've got all the, all the uh, files on the C drive. On the project name, what I do is I usually just say uh, what the name of the website is. HIPI. It's a website backup. You can put anything here you want to. It just brought up what I usually put. Now usually what I do is I go to the website itself and I pick up the URL. Let's go to the home page. And I just highlight it and copy it with the control C. Okay. Then that's what I make sure that code goes right here, just as it is. Now here you put the path you want it to go to. And I've got mine on my desktop. And I've called it inch high PI backup and today's date and click OK. Then I click on Next. The web website URL goes here and I just do a copy. Call it Download Website. Now you can, it has a lot of preferences. You can set all kinds of options. But I have found that it gets pretty complicated and I found out that it, the default is just perfect. Click on Next. This is selected by default. And the only thing I change is dis di di disconnect when finished. I don't ever do anything about this. This says Save Settings Only, Do Not Launch Download Now. I don't do that. And I just click Finish. And then it starts. It usually tells you how many minutes. This will take about 10, 11, 12 minutes, something like that. Uh, then I'm gonna, right now I'm going to put it on pause so you don't have to sit here watching that while it runs through. 
right, we're back. And it's finished. Took about 10 minutes. Now you can view the log file right here if you want to. And it tells you everything it has done. This has uh, no errors, 53 warnings, one message. But I usually don't look at this too good. I just kind of take it for what it's worth. Then I click on finish. Now it's ready to go again. But the next thing I do is I go to the file. Well, heck, I want to get rid of this. And right here, this is what the file looks like. And you go down here to, this is the uh, inch high PI backup for today's date. Then I just go to the index.html file. Sometime you click on it, sometime you don't have to. And there it is. And you can see right here that it's on the C drive, every bit of it. So here we're looking at the live version, looks like. Contact us. Same thing. So all the links work. That's the wonderful things about it. Go to the services, go to insurance fraud, for instance. There you go, insurance fraud. You want to go to payments. And there's a little PayPal. You can just buy now. And there comes the PayPal purchase. I could purchase if I want to. Now my uh, internet uh, security comes up with this every time I go to the web website. Okie doke. So that is all that you probably care about this particular thing. Now there's another way that I capture websites. And I capture them using Adobe Acrobat Pro. Now Adobe Acrobat Pro does a pretty good job, but it doesn't really do it as good as the looking at the live browser. But you go to, like in the Adobe Acrobat Pro, you go to File, Create, PDF from Website, Web Page. Okay, now I want to capture multiple levels, so I click on that, and then it gives the website, and then you go over here and click on Get Entire Site, and click Create. This, it always tells you this operation can take a long time to complete and may require a large amount of hard drive space. Do you want to proceed? And I always say yes. Now this is running, and while it's running, I'm going to pause this video so you don't have to watch it. All right, we're back. And this didn't take very long. I'd say maybe three or four minutes to download this whole thing. But if you look at it, you can see that it is a static website. I mean, it looks good, and if you needed to redo the website, you'd have everything you need. It doesn't show it exactly in the same order, but, you know, it's not too bad, and it's something you could use to reaccomplish the website. If I go to over here, Insurance Fraud Investigations, Let's see what it comes up with. There you go, insurance fraud investigation. So you've got all the words. So you've got about everything you need. And it might not be a bad idea to have both of these done. The, high tr the HT track and the, it downloaded in Adobe uh, Pro. Anyway, that's all I have for now.